the time slips from your hand, you know. Inshallah, we'll hold it this time. Brothers and sisters, Asma'ul Ishara, Asma'ul Isharati Lil Ba'id, Zalika, Zalika Talibun, Ulaika Tullabun, Tilka Talibatun, Ulaika Talibatun. Fine, brother. Now comes verb. Muhammadun Zahaba. Okay, brother, what is this Muhammadun Zahaba? What is the translation? Muhammad went. Now analyze it. What is Muhammad? Muftida. Where is the khabar? Zahaba. What is Zahaba? Jumla failure. Verbal sentence. Complete verbal sentence. Where is the fiel? Fiel. Zahaba. Where is the file? Mustatir. Takdiruhu huwa. And then it goes to Muhammad. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Then Muhammadun wa Hamidun wa Aliyun Zahabu. Okay, what kind of a sentence is this? This is Jumla Ismiya. Muhammadun Muftida. Wow is Ataf. Hamidun Mautuf. Wa Ali Mautuf. And where is the Khabar? This is a complete sentence. Where is the fiel? Zahabu. Huh? First, Brother Abdul Samad, we recognize the fiel. And then we come to wow. Where is the fiel? Zahabu with Dhamma. And where is the file? Wow, mashallah. See, now this is not required. This is not required. Oh, the understanding that how you use the verb is required from us. But we are on our own going further and doing analysis so that we become strong and later on, whether you will be able to do the whole Quran with this way. And we have books to help you. Huh? Fine. Maryamu Zahabat. Are you with me? What is Maryam? Muftida. Where is the Khabar? Jumla failure. Where is the fial? Zahaba. What is, where is the fial? And what is Ta? Tao Tanishi. We have to separate them. Where is the fial? Zahaba. And what is this next thing? This Tao Tanishi. Separate them. Huh? Very good. Maryamu wa aminatu wa fatimatu zahabna okay what is maryamu muftida what is aminatu mautufun ala maryam and what is fatimatu mautufun ala maryam and zahabna what is this complete jumla failure with fiel and fail where is the fiel zahab zahab only zahab sukun and where is the fail na nunu niswa ha mashallah very good brothers and sisters we are going very well. We will try to finish this lesson if possible. Okay. Al Kalimatul Jadidatu. Brother, it is Da'ifun, Da'afun, or Da'ifatun, the plural is same. Okay. If there is a typo, correct it. Da'ifun. There is a fata on. And, but it should be kasra. Okay. Ummun ummahatun. Kaviyun akviyaul. Abun abaul. Alimun ulamaul. You got it, brothers and sisters? No, we got to memorize them. Plurals have to be memorized slowly, slowly. Fine, brothers and sisters. Next thing on our agenda is tea break. Let's have a break. Inshallah. Adarsto Rabiu Ashar. Lesson number 14. al fitiatu What is al fitiatu Young people. Young men. Huh? It's group. All of them are saying in group Assalamu Alaikum. And then Hamid is saying Wa Alaikum Assalamu Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu. See, Rahmatullahi. What is Rahmatullahi? Mudhaf, Mudhafilihi. Wa Barakatuhu. What is Barakatuhu? Mudhaf, Mudhafilihi. MashaAllah. 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 Ahadul Fityati. What is it, brother? Ahadul Fityati. Mudhaf, Mudhafilihi. One of the young men. Okay. Kaifahaluka ya 
Ammi, how are you, my uncle? What is the answer? Ana bi khair. Ana mubtada. Where is the khabar? Bi khair. Jar mazur shibu jumla. And then it is always necessary to say Alhamdulillah. With wow. Huh? You say Alhamdulillah. And all praise be to Allah. Kaifa huh? halukum? How are you all? Kaifa halukum? Man antum? Jan na pashan? Ab mere mehman ban gay? Man antum, who are you? Nahnu abnau dukturi. See? Nahnu mubtada. What is abnau dukturi? Mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Sahi? So where is the khabar? Abnau is our khabar. Wa huwa mudaf and then mudaf ilihi. Very good. Brother, sister Arifa, what is this Musa doing here? It is Badal. Now it's very easy for you to say Badal. You know why? The way I ask you the question. <laughs> when I say what is this Musa doing here? Then maybe it is Badal. But you see, now change it. Huh? Remove Dukhtar and re- put Musa. It will substitute. Okay. We Nahnu Abnau Musa. And now remove Musa. And then you will say Nahnu Abnau Dukhtari. So you know, Musa is a Badal for Doctor, right? it substitutes. So this is the way you will think, you know, inshallah. Okay, brother and sister? Brother Hassan, you got it? Huh? Inshallah. Salman, did you feel it, brother? Okay, inshallah. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. We are going to analyze it in book three. Huh? Not now. Abukum sadiki. Abukum, how many words? Mudaf mudafili. Sadiki, how many words? Mudaf mudafilihi. Sahi. So where is our muftada? Abu. And huwa mudaf. And kum mudafilihi. And sadiku is khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafilihi. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Yes. Welcome. Be my guest. Yes, welcome. You are welcome. But we will go in detail later on. It's very beautiful thing, brother. We we go in detail and understand the meaning of it, you know. Because when you say ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban, there are things hidden behind it. There are sentences hidden behind it. Okay, just the way you say shukran, brother, there is a sentence behind that. Huh? When you say subhana, there is a sentence behind it. But then once you learn the meaning of subhana, you'll be surprised. So much to learn. So much to understand. When you say gofarana, oh, what is gofarana? There's a sentence behind, huh? which is understood by those who know Arabic. Okay, those who know Arabic, they can easily understand what's behind this. What huh? happened by itself means? No, welcome. This whole jumla means you are welcome. Huh? Mostly Arabs just say ahla wa sahla. Yeah. But, uh, short form. Uh, but it means welcome. Brother. Okay. Aina, look at this brother. Aina ammukum ashaykhu isa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is the translation? Where is your uncle, Sheikh Isa? Okay, Arifa, I want to give a little chance to Arifa. Arifa? Ammukum, what is Ammukum? Mudaf, Mudafilehi. Sahi? Now we have Mudaf, Mudafilehi. Ammukum. Okay? So what is the Shaykhu? Where will you put this? Where does it go to? From Ammukum, where will you put Shaykhu? Badal Abdul Samad. It is Badal. Badal for what? Ammu. Ammu only. Not for whom? Ammu. Huh? Ammu. Uh, fine. So that is your Badal for? Ammu. And what is Isa? 
Isa is also badal. Uh, they, are, they are all referring to Ammu. So if you only say Aina Ammukum Isa, good enough. If you say Aina Ammukum Ashaykhu, good enough. See, tell me one thing. Ammukum. What is Ammu? Uda. Uda. Is Kum uh, Majroor or Marfu? What is Kum? Majroor. Mudafila is always Majroor. So Ammu, you say. Ammu, when you say Ammu, it is Marfu. So Badal has to be Marfu. So it is a Shaykhu. Huh? See? A Shaykhu. Marfu. Why it is Marfu? Because Ammu is Marfu. And Isa is also Marfu. Because it is a proper noun. Okay? And you, in Isa you don't see Tanween. Huh? Because it's a foreign name. Okay? Ammu ka badal hai. We don't analyze it, Sister Nusrat. If we were to analyze it, we will get into problem. When you go in book three, we will analyze everything. Okay? Okay, okay. aina. Now, just you have asked me a question, I'll say it. Probably we will edit it later on. Okay? Aina. What is Aina? You tell me, what is the meaning of Aina? Where? So what kind of a noun is this Aina? It is a zarf. What is it? Zarf. So in other words, can zarf be Muftada? No. So in this sentence, Ammo is your Muftada. Uh, and then Kum is Mudafilehi. And al shaykhu is your Badal. And Isa is also Badal. So where is the Khabar? Aina. Ah. Okay, oh, sister, <laughs> Mahiraj, wait for book three. You know, we are, you see, that's why I tell you we don't analyze now, question now. Because I, I, that will become too much of analysis. Simple analysis. Eh? So when you, uh, 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 if I, if I tell you, you know, for the sake of it, Aina Muhammadun, okay? Uh, in this sentence, how will you know whether, uh, which is which? What will you, uh, what, what will be your answer? Suppose uh, um, Muhammad is in the house. So if I tell you, Aina Muhammadun, what will be your answer? Muhammadun fil bayti. So you see, in the second sentence, Muhammad came as a muftida. So in the first sentence, it is also muftida. So these are the, some of the things we will learn in book three. Huh? But again, if I tell you, Aina Muhammadun, and once you know Aina is a zarf, a zarf can never be muftida. Jar majur cannot be muftida. You see, they can only be khabar. Or you turn it around, you say Muhammadun. Muftada, Aina, then it is Khabar. Huh? Are you with me? But we don't want to go into that detail now. It is not necessary. Huh? Not at all necessary. Because when you come back to, when we come back to book uh, 3, lesson number 10, you know what is lesson number 10? Muftada and Khabar. We will be doing again Muftada and Khabar in detail. But brothers and sisters, having known all these things, will make that lesson halwa puri. Because you know already all, most of the things. And that lesson will be in detail. What kinds of muftazar are there? What kinds of khabar are there? But we are already building ourselves. Uh, we are already putting our foundation. So we will be strong by the time we reach there. So that is why I request you not to be concerned about analyzing Questions. Wait till we come to book three, inshallah. After that, you will analyze everything, inshallah. Okay. Who are maridun? Very easy. Who are maridun? Muftada, khabar. Who are al-ana fil mustashfa? Who are again muftada? What is al-ana? Zarf. And fil mustashfa? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Fine. Shafahullahu. 
<clears throat> now I, I want you just to know this. Shafahul. Shafah is a verb. So it cannot be mudaf mudafili. So I don't want to go in detail. We will go in very soon, inshallah. Shafa is a verb. Look at Shafa. Huh? Shafa is a verb. And file is always marfu. So where is the file? Shafa Allah. Huh? Shafa Allah. Are you with me? Sister Arifa? What is Shafa? A verb. Huh? Huh? And then, where is the file? Allah. Look, this kind of a damir, huh? brothers and sisters, which damir? Hu, huma hum, ha, huma hunna, ka, kuma kum, ki, kuma kunna, ya mutakalam, and na. These are damir. But remember, they are not marfu. Huh? These damir we used as mudafilehi. So mudafilehi is majroor. We use as ism majroor. For the file, it has to be marfu. So where is the file marfu? Allah. This is not marfu, brother. When you say kitabuhu, what is who? Mudafilehi. Mudafilehi majroor. Sahi? Okay? Are you with me, brother? We are going to learn. Okay, but I just wanted to say Shafa, who, Allahu, and see here, there's an alif maksura, and when you add damir to it, uh, then you change the form to okay, and then you put here. Okay, I write another syntax. Where is the file? Allah. Allahu. What is the verb? Jaza. What kind of a verb is this? It will be written like this. Huh? And then plus. Huh? And then plus Allah. But I think I will tell you brother. In the past, in the, in the last few days, we have emphasized. Are you listening? Just listen if you can understand. And keep it in your mind, alhamdulillah. Otherwise, don't worry. But this is very important. Comes in lesson number five in book two. We learn that when the pronoun is attached to the noun, the result is mudaf, mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to the preposition, the result is jarun or majrun. When the pronoun is attached to the zarf, the result is zarf and mudafile. When the pronoun is attached to the verb, which pronoun? Who, huma, whom, ha, huma. Remember those pronouns. Who, huma, whom, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, ya, mutakallam, and na. When these are attached to the verb, what are they? Objects. What are they? Bafulun bihi. We call it Bafulun bihi. I just said it. If you remember it, Alhamdulillah. If you don't remember, don't worry. Huh? So what is who doing here? It is Bafulun bihi. What is ka doing here? It is Bafulun bihi. But this is what we are going to learn in book two. Brother. I will not, uh, I will ask you not to be concerned. Not to be concerned. Huh? It is coming in book two, inshallah. Huh? Because see, Dr. Abdurrahim has a vision. And in his planning, in book one, there is no wafulun bihi. It will come in book two. Fine. Man hadihil tiflatul lati ma'akum. Man, put a question mark there at the end, brothers and sisters. Man hadihil tiflatul lati maakum. How will you translate? Child, 
Who is with you? Who is with you? Okay. Huh? Who is this child, female child, who is with you? What is the answer? Ahduhum. Remember, Ahduhum, Ahduhum, one of them. One of them. One of, what is Ahduhum? Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. Fine. Hiya Ukhtuna. What is it? Hiya Ukhtuna. She is our sister. So, brother, Ukhtuna. What is this combination? Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. Huh? So, Hiya is Mubtada. Where is our khabar? Ukhtu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilayhi. Oh, mashallah. Mashallah. Now Hamid says, Masmuha. What is her name? Okay, what is the name? Ismuha Layla. Her name is Layla. What is Ismuha, this combination? Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Where is Muftada? Ismu. Wa huwa mudaf. Ha, mudaf ilayhi. And where is our khabar? Layla is our khabar. Now comes something that requires little extra attention. And we will be practicing this. Sister Arifa, this is a new form of uh, adjective. You know why I take Sister Arifa's name? Because she showed me her concern that, you know, she finds a Confusing Badal and Nath. I said, don't worry. Huh? When they will come, you will understand, inshallah. Now remember, brother, the combination of Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. Okay? They will always be with each other. They will be Mudaf and immediately Mudaf ilayhi. Nothing in between. So if there is a Nath for Mudaf, where will it come? Afterwards, if there is a nath for mudaf ilayhi, where will it come? Afterwards, and we will have to figure out that uh, that nath is related to mudaf or it is related to mudaf ilayhi. And it's very easy, you know. Look at this sentence: Aina baytukum. What is baytukum? Mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Look at baytu. What do you see? It's marfu. Uh -huh. Sister Nasreen, it's marfu, okay? Now, there is a nath coming after that. al jadi du. So because it is marfu, where should it go to? Baitu. Uh -huh. So baitu kum al jadi du, how will you translate? Your new house. What will you say in English? Your new house. But in Arabic, we will say baitu kum. Al Jadidu. Because between Baitu and Kum, nothing can come. Do you understand? Baitu Kum, your house. Your new house, the new has to come after Kum. Baitu Kum Al Jadidu. Baitu Kum Al Jadidu. Because now that Dhamma on Jadidu tells us that it is the Nath for Baitu. Got the idea, brother? Very good. Now look at the new sentence. Baituna al jadidu. So what is baituna? Mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Nothing can come. If there is a naat, it has to come afterwards. So baituna al jadidu. So al jadidu is your naat for baitu. You got it, brother Muhammad? We will be practicing this, inshallah. Huh? We will be practicing this. Karibun huh? min. Minal Matar, it's closer to the airport. Okay. Brother Baituna al Jadidu, Karibun Minal Matari. Okay, brother, what is Baitu? Muptada, Wahua Mudaf, Na Mudaf Ilehi. What is Al Jadidu? Nat. Got the idea? It is Nat. Brother, Arabic is so beautiful. Huh? It is so beautiful. And all these things you will. Find it in the Quran. Huh? And it will give you immense pleasure. That the things that you never understood before, now they are making sense to you. Huh? Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. So then where is the khabar? Karibun. Where is the khabar? Karibun. Fine. Minal Matari. Hamid. 
انتم فل مدرس نویتی آر یو ان دا سیکنڈری اسکول احد ون آف دم سیز لا نہنو بل جامیتی نو دس از ایزی سی نہنو ڈی یو سی دا میر من فصل الون اینڈ اٹ از مرفو اینڈ اٹ از مفتدا اٹس مرفو دا نہنو فارم از مرفو فارم اوکے نہنو مفتدا ویر از دا خبر دین ہی سیز انا مفتدا فی کلیتی چار بتا الحندستی بتا بتا فیلے چی فیل فی کلیتی فی حرف چار کلیتی اسم مجروع وہو مداف ہندستی مداف فیلے گوڈ ایڈ بدا سلمان انشاءاللہ و محمود ان محمد مرتدا فی حرف چار کلیتی اسم مجروع وہو مداف ان اتبی مداف لہی و ابراہیم مبتدا فی کلیتی جار مجرور ان الشریعتی شریعتی از مداف لہی و یوسف مبتدا فی حرف چار کلیتی اسم مجرور و ہوا مداف ان تجارتی مداف لہی what is the translation نحن بالجامعتی We are in the university. And uh, I am in the faculty of engineering. Uh, I am in the faculty of. Do you see of? Uh, that is our mudaf mudafili. But Mahmoud, he is in the faculty of medicine. But Ibrahim is in the faculty of sharia. But Yusuf, he فی کلیتی تجارت it is in the faculty of commerce got the idea it's easy Brother Salman you understood inshallah huh? Sister Mahmoud is it clear inshallah right okay if it is not clear ask me huh? okay من ذالك الفتى الذي فی سیارتی کم فی سیارتی کم فی حرف جر سیارتی اسم مجرور و هو مداف کم مداف لہی very good huh? So, brother and sister, how, what is the translation? Brother Abdul Samad, what is the translation? Man zalik al fata. Fata means young fellow, young man. Who is in your car, Masha? Who are zamili? What is zamili? How many words? Two. Mudaf, mudafili. Who are muptada? Zamilu khabar. Wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallim? Mudafili. Very good, brother. Min aina huwa, from where he is? Min aina. When you see aina, before it, it comes, it will be min. Min aina. From where is he? Huwa min in kaltarra. Huwa muntada min in kaltarra. Dar majru shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Masmuhu. What is his name? Ismuhu. Combination is mudaf. Mudaf ilahi. Fine. Ismuhu Williamu. Ismuhu, William. His name is William. Brother, look at Williamu. Do you see Tanween there? No. You see single Dhamma. What does it? Diptot. Eh? Diptot. When you see single Dhamma, it is Diptot. Very good. A Muslimun huwa. Is he a Muslim? A Muslimun huwa. Is he a Muslim? Eh? La. Huwa. Nasraniyun, he is a Christian. Abuhu Ustadi. Abuhu, what kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilihi. Okay. Ustadi. Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilihi. So where is our Muftada? Abu. And where is our Khabar? Ustadi, Ustadzu. Ustadzu. Okay. Ismuhu, a doctor, Edwardu. Okay, fine brother. What is this muhu? What kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. Where is muftada? Ismu. Who is mudaf and who is mudafili? Fine brother. Where is our khabar? A doctor. Are you with me? A doctor. Sister Arifa, what is Edward do? 
a doctor a doctor edward what can it be but see it is not badal you can figure out uh, it is badal muhammad it is badal for doctor uh, you can just straight away say ismuhu edward or ismuhu a doctor and then edward is the badal for doctor mashallah Okay, brother and sister, as I have tum in al mustashfa, did you go to the hospital? See now, their uncle is in the hospital, huh? so he is asking. Hamid is asking them, as I have tum, tell me, what kind of sentence is this? Is it jumla? Failure. Huh? Where is the fail? Think properly and tell me. Where is the fail? Zahab. <laughs> yes, with sukun. Huh? Where is the file? Thum. Later on, we will even analyze Thum in book 3. But right now, for our ease and simplicity, we say Thum is a file. Now, Azhab Thum Ilal Mustashfa. Ilal Mustashfa, brother, is Jar Majroor. Li Ziyarati Ammikum. Now, how many words are there? Li Ziyarati Ammikum. How many words are there, brother Salman? Four, brother. If you say two, then it will cost you two dozen samosas. Huh? It is four. So, let us start with the first word. What is the first word? Li. What is Li? Harcha. What should be next thing? Isam Majroor. So, where is Isam Majroor? Ziyarati. Now, there is a chain. Okay? So, Ziyarati is now our Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilehi? Ammi. Wahua Mudaf. And Kum Mudaf Ilehi. Brother, you got to understand this. Are you with me? Maybe I should write it down. Huh? Okay. Li. Zia Rati Ammi Kum. Are you, how many words? I divide it. <coughs> One, two, three. And four. We divide the words. Huh? Okay. What is this, brother? Harfcha. Mashallah. Huh? What is the next one? Isam Majroor. Now, the effect of harfcha is only to the next noun. After that, harfcha doesn't do anything. Now, there's still two more nouns there. So then, this becomes... Mudaf, and then this becomes Mudaf Ilehi. And then again it becomes Mudaf, and this becomes Mudaf Ilehi. Are you with me? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Salman, this is very important, brother. Brother, so many people who can speak Arabic, many people who can speak Arabic, they, they miss out on these things. But because we are non-Arabs, we want to learn the language properly. I just got an email from Brother Yusuf. Uh, Sister Suhaina Nusrat, they know Brother Yusuf. Uh, like Brother Muhammad, he was our in charge of the class. And he worked very hard. Mashallah. And he's retired. Brother Yaqub. Brother Yaqub. I, I beg your pardon. I, I mixed up, Brother Yaqub. So I got an email from Brother Yaqub. And he said, he said, Brother Asif, if you had not taught us the, the books that we learned here, I would have been completely lost. You know? He said, I am now enjoying my lessons because I understand what's going on. And he said, in my class, people speak Arabic, but they don't know what is mafulun bihi. You know, they don't know, you know, the rules of the grammar. You know, and he is, alhamdulillah, he's enjoying, you know, and he's remembering this course. Alhamdulillah, you know. So, inshallah, when one of you will go abroad to Middle East to learn, to do your further studies, this foundation will be of immense help to you. Huh? Immense help to you. Because there they may not teach you all these things. Because they have no time. 
they think you should know them. You know? Because there, they are more interested that you should write sentences, form sentences, and then speak. But then in order to form proper sentences, you must have this knowledge. Otherwise, you, 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 you make mistakes. Right? So inshallah, you be very careful, Salman. Everything must be understood, right? inshallah. Uh, in Jordan, brother. Jordan. Yeah, mashallah. He's in Jordan. He's in the university. Huh? Okay. Azhab tum. What was the question? Azhab tum. What is the answer? Zahabna. Got the idea? If I ask you, Azhab tum ilal masjidi al yawm? Naam. Zahabna. Got the idea? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now I come to explain you a little more. We have little time. I just want to give you something better. What do you read, brother? What do you read on the board? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. What is B? Harfujan. Where is Ism Majroor? Ism. Ism is your Ism Majroor. Uh, and then there is a chain going. The effect of B is only to our Ism. Uh, okay, so brothers and sisters, I'm writing here. Uh, I'm writing here, B, brother, harf char. Huh? Now, ism, the hamza has been dropped because since the time of uh, Hadrat Uthman, when the Quran was, you know, compiled in a book form, okay, brother, in a proper book form, because there are a lot of stories that Quran was already in the book form, but we are not going into those details. It was done in a very professional way at that time, for the first time, okay, so that the copies could be made and distributed throughout the Arab lands, you know. So then, this is your Ism Majroor. Okay, brothers and sisters, now there is Allah. So what is Allah? Mudaf. So then what is this then? Mudaf. And this is Mudaf. Now, brothers and sisters, you tell me. Brother Salman, tell me what is a Rahman and what is a Rahim. You tell me. Okay, if you don't tell me, sister Arifa, you tell me. What is here Allahi and what is this a Rahman? It is a Naat. What is it? Why? Allahi a Rahman. If it was Allahu a Rahmanu. Huh? Are you with me? If it was, if it is Allah, then it will be a Rahmana. But here it is Allahi. Then what is this Rahmani? This is Naat. And what is this a Rahimi? Another Naat. Naat number one. Naat number two. Are you with me? You. There is no room for badal here. Huh? It is Naat. Okay. Are you with me? This is Arifa. I would like you to feel it. Next time, on next time, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I'm going to write down, Alhamdulillahi. And what is after that? Rabbi. Why Rabbi, brother? It is a naat. See, Rabbil Alami, that is combination of mudaf, mudaf. And after that, ar rahma ni, ar rahi me. These are all naat for Allah. And what is in the end? Mali ki again not. See, I'm going to write it next time for you. And you are going to analyze it, inshallah. And see, we say it all the time. But now you will understand what you are saying. See, Maliki Yomiddin. What kind of a combinations are there? We'll do it inshallah tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Because we are running a little late, we'll do it tomorrow. Likewise, I will be analyzing short, short verses. Uh, just to reinforce 
what we are learning in the book, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, ajib anil asilatil atiati. Answer the following question. Questions. But the answer should be from the book. Did you all buy Hallo uh, Tamari? Some of them you have it. Because once you write your answer, you can check there. Okay. Manantum. Nahnu abnau. Nahnu abnau doctori Musa. Nahnu abnau doctori Musa. Aina baitukum. Baituna karibun. Minal matar. Are you with me? Read the sentence and you will answer. Huh? You got to read it two, three times. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a beautiful sentence. Man Rabbukum. Who is your Lord? What will be your answer? No, 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 no. Rabbukum will change into Rabbuna. MashaAllah. If you can feel this, that the answer should be no. Rabbuna Allah. So, brother, what is Rabbuna? Mudaf, Mudaf And Allah who comes afterwards. So where is our Muftada? Rabbu, who are Mudaf. And now Mudaf. Where is the Khabar? Allah. You are the Mashallah, Mashallah. Ma Lugatukum. What is your language? You, we say Arabic. Lugatukum. So you'll say Lugatuna al Arbiyatu. Lugatuna. Al Arbiyatu, huh? Inshallah. It will make uh, uh, our you know learning easy, inshallah. Brother, I'll tell you another story next time. I've got a lot of stories to tell you. These are the things that I came across uh, while I was studying, and these are the most beautiful individuals who had a great impact on on my learning and my you know understanding, and I they are gone. But I remember them. So I'll tell you another story next time, inshallah. Aina madrasatukum. Aina madrasatukum. Ra sa tukum. Aina madrasatukum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Aina madrasatukum. What will you say? Madrasatuna, madrasatuna. Now here there will be a little trouble. Because you will have to say karibatun. What will you say? Why will you say karibatun? Because muptada is mohannas. Huh? Madrasatun. Madrasatu. Na. Karibatun. Min al What will you say? The school is close to from our house. Are you with me? Fine, brother. Antum muslimuna. What will be your answer? Nahnu, and then, walhamdulillah. You will say, Nahnu muslimuna, walhamdulillah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Afi baitikum hadikatun. Afi baitikum hadikatun. What will you answer? Naam. Fi baitina. Fi baitina hadikatun. So hadikatun came late. You know, it is indefinite. The khabar came in the beginning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Aindakum sayyaratun. Say yes. Naam. Indana sayyaratun. Aina mudarrisukum. Where is your teacher? Aina mudarrisukum. What do you want to say? Is he in the class or in the bait? Huwa fil fasli. Or huwa fil uh, a bait or whatever you want to say, brother. Who are fil masjid? Fine, brother. Antum mudarisuna. What will you say? Antum mudarisuna. La nahnu tullahu. Nahnu tullahu. Or you can say nahnu muhandisuna. <laughs> okay. Fine, brother and sister. Ikra waktu. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Ikra waktu. Huh? I'll only read one sentence and this is where we'll start tomorrow, brother. Nahnu muslimuna. Where is Muptada? Nahnu. Where is Khabar? Muslimuna. Al Islamu dinuna. Okay, brother and sister, dinuna. How many words? Mudaf, mudafili. So where is Muptada? 
الاسلام ویر از یو خبر دینو و هو مداف انا مداف الی ما شاء الله و اللہ ربونا ویر از اور مبتدا اللہ ویر از اور خبر ربو و هو مداف انا مداف الی are you with me محمد نبینا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مبتدا ویر از اور خبر نبیو and then مداف مداف الی القرآن دستورنا القرآن دستورنا our constitution القرآن دستورنا so القرآن brothers and sisters القرآن مبتدا and دستورنا دستورو خبر مداف مداف الی القعبت what is القعبت مبتدا what is قعبت news is قبلتنا قبلتنا brother what is how many words two so where is our خبر قبلت وهو مداف and then مداف الی انشاءاللہ والعربیت لغتنا والعربیت لغتنا are you with me والعربیت لغتنا so what is لغت خبر وَهُوَ مُدَافْ مُدَافْ See brother, you are getting stronger. I hope you feel it in yourself that you are understanding it. This understanding is vital. When we go in advanced lessons. And this understanding will make the advanced lessons very easy for you. So go home, write these sentences, and especially all of them you should analyze. What will you analyze? نحن مسلمون الاسلام ديننا والله ربنا محمد نبينا القرآن دستورنا الكعبة كبلتنا العربية لغتنا إن شاء الله analyze it and we will work later on the rest of it إن شاء الله okay brothers and sisters and إن شاء الله we'll try to do many more things tomorrow we only did fourteen lesson we got to do one more fifteen Lesson number 16 brings a new concept. I hope you will all come and be present to understand lesson number 16. Because every time something new will come. And this is a different kind of a concept. Not difficult. It's easy. It's simple. But one has to understand it. Inshallah. And we will inshallah tell you whether. Rabbana. آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرت حسنتا و وقینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و زریاتینا قررت آیون و اجعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا سمی العلیم و توب علینا انکا انتا تواب رحیم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما